Hey guys, sorry I'm not here today. So what do you guys gotta get done today? Well, today for service design, you guys are taking care of all the prep work for before we get out for break. So drawings for your wood wood burning design, your city landscape piece, as well as finishing any fine tooth things that need done be done with your stencil that don't doesn't include using an exacto knife because they got those locked up. All right, so for the stencil for the wood burning piece, that's that's kind of the the big thing that I need everybody to take care of. Uh, ASAP. So in your sketchbook, a couple quick sketches of some patterns, some design work that you want to put onto your wood burning piece. So you're going to be getting a plank of wood, bare like this. Uh, you're drawing on this with pencil. The designs that you did in your sketchbook, you're going to put it right on here. Again, I said suggested do like something that's tattoo in style. because that's gonna give you a lot more uh, play with when we get to the burning stage. All right, so here I got a piece that I did a long time ago. This is a wood cut that I did uh, for printmaking, that, but it's applying the same techniques, the same processes. So I blocked out, drew out everything, all my designs first, then went back with the tool and excavated it, took out sections that need to be taken out to show the positive and negative space. That's the big thing we're working on. Uh, continuation, it still is that positive and negative space relationship. So how are your designs for your piece here, how are the positive and negative spaces being transferred to this? So you're taking the positive, which is the block of wood, and you're gonna burn in those negatives, so burning in those darker shadow sections with the burner. So tell, transfer your designs, get your design set up so that when you uh, get the board, you can go ahead and start throwing them down. Now, the other thing that you're going to do is this, is you got to prep your boards. I've got sandpaper that I'm going to be leaving into the blue box. Make sure the sandpaper goes back in there. Sand down your board so it's a nice smooth finish. Big thing that you need to know when sanding wood is the way that the grain is running, sand with the grain. So here we have a pattern, uh, like a little bit of a change in the way that the grain is pushed so the sandpaper needs to go across this way if you sand against the grain you're actually causing bits of the grain to then flare up so that when you're coming across to uh to give that nice smooth finish you have all those rough sections now that are harder to work with so make sure that you sand with the grain so everything lays flat that's the reason we sand with the grain you guys take care of that and as always we'll see you guys next class all right, for ceramics class, you guys are, are continuing working on your face pieces, on your expression mugs. So you need to knock out the designs uh, blocking for your mugs. So what you're gonna do, and I've gone over this in class, is that you've taken clay, added it to the exterior of your mug so you can start creating those facial features uh, such as So looking at that example, how are you going to then lay out the clay on your mug so that you can create the facial feature that you've designed for from your illustration? So, take those. Uh, so, I want you guys to be working on getting those mugs done. I need these mugs done before we go to show because I got a lot of stuff I want to show off this year. Uh, make sure you guys are doing a, uh, an excellent job as always. Good luck on your pieces, and I'll see you guys next class.